out of all the advices I got in the comment section, there's only one good one. Only one good advice, sad days ahead. Right, hello, hello, and welcome back to Soviet Republic. Our little chemistry, uh, chemical, <laughs> chemistry factory. Uh, chemical factory, so Bhopal, is it Bhopal, uh, Chief? I, I actually googled it, I didn't even know about this. Ameri ah, <clears throat> American caused disaster in India, uh, chemical. Uh, it's a uh, Union Carbide, Union Carbide, I think, was the owner of the factory that uh, happened. I, I didn't, I never heard about it before. Chief um, uh, uh, said it, and uh, thank you for educating me. <laughs> that, that's not a good advice, that was a bad advice. Uh, more bad advice from Cheeb. Uh, benefits of exporting raw coal. The only thing I can think of is less buildings and infrastructure for coal. Um, uh, chemical plant? No, chemical plant is going to be fine. Uh, it's just we need to uh, transport this as soon as possible. So the situation here is uh, trucks don't have fuel. I think it's kind of obvious that we need to build a fueling, uh, fuel station somewhere here. Uh, petrol station. So let's go with that. Hmm. This is something that I'm going to address now as well. Um, I'm going to go and... Uh, I'm going to go and uh, double check all our petrol stations. Uh, if I go to buildings and then gas stations. And I'm going to double check them all if they have uh, the uh, fuel there. Uh, this one is done. I'm going to remove this, uh, this one fully. Uh, just so people don't... Uh, what about you? You're fine. Next gas station. Here we go. I think... I don't know. I think it's... We have decent amount of gas stations. I mean, obviously, some of them near the border crossing could be good. But um, the, in this episode, we're going to be addressing a lot of railroad-related issues. So, um, Cheap said that we should start building the railroad infrastructure to put uh, that steel to good use. And uh, he has doubts that uh, we won't be able to produce all the steel that we want. Oh, what the hell is it? All right. All the steel uh, that we won't be able to produce all the steel for the railroads from our steel mill. <laughs> steel mill. <laughs> can we call it a steel mill? Well, look, we can we can substitute a little bit. I'm assuming like one to two percent of steel from the imports for our railroad construction. I'm pretty sure that uh, our railroad lines are going to be uh, fully operational and built by this. But fine, we we can be on a safe side and substitute a little bit by importing it. Again, importing um, steel. A lot of people uh, have their. Uh, um, Skin, uh, makes them their skin crawl uh, by mentioning that we're going to be importing steel. I don't know how it works. Usually you would focus uh, uh, to steel, focus f on steel as soon as possible. Uh, why is it so? Because steel is so expensive to import. Uh, it's not too complex to, be, uh, to make. It is quite complex. I think uh, nuclear energy uh, is a little bit more complex, but... Um, hmm. I don't know. Let's let's see how it goes. Um, right. So let's go and um, uh, focus fully on our. Why is this not being built? It's our road construction office is in charge of this. Uh, road construction office. Uh, do you don't uh, <laughs> look at this? A uh, road construction office over here doesn't have source of gravel. How come? No, uh, I'm not kidding now. Oh right. No. 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 That's why. Uh, right, let's go and assign all of these construction projects to, uh, you're gonna need dumpers for this, not only road, Uliki has a different way of dealing with these things, I don't know if I did this or, I remember that I was, um, or, wow, I want to say seriously that they're not even in range here, that's, that's quite strange, um, uh, this one here requires, okay, footpath, uh, can construct this, that's fine, uh, what about the rest of the industries? This is 144 tons of steel. <laughs> That's gonna put a dent in our finances. Um, sure, uh, construction, we're gonna go for transport. And I'm gonna go for construction 3 and 4 uh, straight away. As soon as we get steel delivered here, uh, I want this operational. Not bear in mind, this is not uh, even close to being done. Let's see first water. Do we need water here? Uh, no, sewage, no, okay, thank god. <laughs> so the, the same issue with uh, chemical, 
the factory doesn't uh, reoccur. Okay, we're gonna finish this. We're gonna need this is the entrance. We're gonna have to asphalt the whole area. Uh, we will need water here. Do I want to? Uh, and we probably will have sewage uh, requirements here as well. <laughs> so this is a uh, uranium mine. Uh, okay, I never assigned this to. Okay, well, let's play around with this one. Uh, let's play around with this one. Uh, I think I said this already twice. Um, F2. No, that's a wrong F. That's not 2. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Excavators are too far. Uh, yeah, construction offices are a, a bit far away. I would still expect them to be able to work here, but hey ho. I would be wrong, obviously. So let's do it the cheaty way. Cheaty way is my favorite way. This is how we operate here. Come on. Seriously. Okay, we can do it this way. Cheaty way, you just do it bit by bit and it always works. That's the cheaty way. This is how we roll on this channel. Okay, so we have <clears throat> uranium mine that needs to be constructed. Let's get cracking. Dumper, transport, groundworks. Off you go. That's gonna be the first three. B building it later on, we're gonna assign others as well. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Look at the trucks now. Six of them only. Uh, let's have a look. Transports. A lot of concrete here. Oh, I love concrete mixers. I always was fascinated as a kid with them. Just because they look so uh, unique and also technically demanding, even though, well, they probably are. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna deny that. Um, technical services, all good. Uh, what do we have here? Nothing. Um, let's go and read the news. I don't know if, uh, the, right, the, the good comment. The good comment was by uh, Dmitry Roski. My advice is more coffee. <laughs> I mean, can you can you argue with that? Unemployment too high. Stopped production. Okay. Um, I'm going to address a couple of things. Uh, we have smooth brain. You need a lots of universities. Oh, right. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Uh, this, was the, this was supposed to be the main thing of the episode. How fast can we educate enormous amounts of people? So we are down to 10% of workers uh, with uh, education. Like, I, I'm going to be reasonable about this. I'm going to put both universities at 50%. Uh, here, I'll, I'll be below 50%. So this is going to be capacity for our students. I'm going to lower this to 60%. Let's see how many people we can educate. I'm going to do the same for the other university in the other city. I'm going to put it to 60% and to 50% capacity. 50, <coughs> just below the 50%. Here we go. 35 out of 72. Just, that's just below 50%. Let's see how many people we'll be able to uh, educate in our universities. Now, bear in mind, 10% of the workforce is uh, college educated, 651 people. Um, I think that's really close to what I wanted us to be. Now, downsides, I don't know if Smooth Brain, uh, if you're aware, I, I, I mean, I was told, I'm not, I don't even know if this is true or not, but that um, more college educated people you have, the, they consume more uh, electronics. And this can be a financial issue for, for your little country. It could be a financial issue for us. Um, well, it's definitely going to increase the uh, consumption of electronics. And I'm not sure if that's the only uh, downside we have. But it's definitely a downside that we're going to have to pay more for our uh, for for maintaining our workers to, to be happy. Okay. Um, any happiness-related issue? 78% is the happiness. Our productivity is 93% in the uh, Murmansk. We have Port Elgin over here. That is the closest city uh, to the Bruce nuclear power plant, at least I chose to be a closest city. And we have a disco era here, lights from uh, Rob's uh, 074. I have no idea what's with these lights, but they are just blinking constantly like this. It's not power related issue, none of the buildings are experiencing that except the street lights. So I'm gonna say that this is, I don't know, Polish thing? <laughs> Building without power supply. I have my doubts. Uh, I mean, like we can we can go here. It's dropped voltage. We can go and which uh, voltage here? What's the other ones? It's it's uh, and they're gonna stop working. Um, let, let's go. Let's see if I can actually uh, open this one and then the last light here. 
You see how this is going up and down and none of the substations are going up and down. So I'm not really sure what gives lots of these lights. I'm gonna say that they're just probably broken or something. Maybe they have too many connectors, connections or whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Uh, I think they look lovely. I think epilepsy is something that everybody uh, should enjoy. And, um, you know, hopefully we're gonna um, contribute uh, in our own lovely way to, to epilepsy around our country. Um, maybe this is the epilepsy support uh, group. Uh, right, anyway, uh, not joking about the disease actually, but... Uh, why is there no asphalt here? Of course, because it needs to be delivered by dumper trucks. I oh, know, footpath. Sh Ooh, should footpath be delivering this? Footpath, footpath. This is a foot. No, that's a dumper set. Groundwork, footpath, open up. Asphalt, we don't have asphalt in footpath. We need to have asphalt in footpath because footpaths often will be uh, dealing with this. There we go. Asphalt plant. So now they're gonna deliver this. This is just a fire station, just a fire station near the nuclear um, nuclear stuff. So yeah, just a fire station. Uh, conversion plant. I'm pretty sure that uh, uranium conversion. So this consists of mine, and then we have the processing plant, and then conversion plant. Um, we're gonna go and double check everything that they need to uh, that we're gonna need to go through. So the uranium mine mines uranium. You have a processing plant, gets it into uranium oxide, and then uranium oxide is turned into uranium hexafluoride, and then uranium hexafluoride is turned into nuclear fuel. So we're gonna we are only going to get to here uh, to uranium hexafluoride. We'll see what we're gonna do from there. I think we can export that. Can we export? I forgot if we can export uranium hexafluoride. That would be cool if we can export that as well. Um, productivity of the plants, I don't think we did anything regarding that. Um, so uranium mine, that depends how much we're gonna be mining. I don't mind, we're gonna see later. Um, then we have uranium processing plant. This is important part. We get 1.7 tons of uranium oxide and this one is producing from 1.7 tons uh, from two tons gets a one ton of uranium hexafluoride. So this is what we can expect one ton of uranium hexafluoride per day. Okay, so a couple of measurement units that we are gonna be addressing today would be 679 um, uh, college educated people in our country, one less, one, uh, 648, that's around 10%. And well, let's see after the time lapse, so we're gonna be focusing on this. I'm gonna be focusing on making our people happy. Uh, potentially expansion, yeah, we have uh, 300 people without their uh, without uh, their own flats, so we're gonna have to address that. Um, I'm gonna be expanding more neighborhoods, both in Murmansk and in Port Elgin. Uh, is that it? I think that's it. Did I want to address anything else? No, no, no. Let's do a time lapse and see you back in five.
here we go here we go a lot of stuff is happening uh right so we have a lot of a lot of projects some of them are just roads just roads that's actually gonna be important i need to double check if they have ooh, 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 look at this one footpath uh looks like footpath is gonna be necessary for some of these because it looks like they're just too short doesn't matter we can do this manually um you can see here that there's no mechanism space, so that means that uh, the people are gonna have to finish this. Did they do it? Or right. footpath? Yes. I didn't increase priority, but hey ho. Um, they're gonna get to it. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm pretty sure that the other side is long enough for mechanization to finish it. There we go. Uh, and this one, road, dumper, road, no footpaths. No footpaths, footpath, footpath, here we go. Okay, done. Uh, there's probably a couple of more that we're gonna have to address later on, but that's fine, we need to build the roads first. Okay, okay, so I did a lot of really, really, really boring work. I hate doing this work. It's the underground water, sewage, um, electricity as well, no heating though. Uh, we're only building industries now. Uh, I did not build... Um, I didn't build the uh, residential areas, so I'm gonna do it right now. Uh, wow, Philharmonics is still not done? Oh, that's surprising. Uh, higher priority and let locals work. There we go. Uh, this should finish it. 54 days, it's probably just a facade or ornaments or something like that being finished. Maybe installation of windows, but looks like this is gonna be done extremely fast. Uh, anyway, we can probably um, we can probably uh, well, ignore it until it's done because a lot of people here are missing culture, uh, culture, and what the hell is with this monument? Ooh, uh, Murmansky is kind of working on this. Look at this. This one is uh, let's go with the hype because the mechanization. The, this is the Equinox Nova's monument of the uh, Vogosha Spomenik or monument. Uh, we're gonna get locals to work on this. Um, that's fine. I'll put 30 for now. They have most of the materials delivered, but um, here we go. Phil Harmonics. Uh, missing staff, and that should be it. Uh, this should be our cult cultural enjoyment. Do I put it to five stars or. Uh, pri oh, price levels. No, no, no. Uh, that's for tourists. I mean, we don't care about that. We don't have tourism developed now. Maybe we should. Almighty Murmansk Phil Harmonics. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, college educated people, <laughs> we lost 30 more. Oh, we lost 30 people. I mean, like, we lost 30 college educated people. You can see the capacities here. I will slow this down just because, like, even though we have all the f uh, professors, we don't have the... Um, uh, there's way too much demand for college education. Uh, here in the Port Elgin, I will do the same. I'll increase this to 65% government loyalty. This is going to lower the demand for the college education, but uh, there's still a lot of a lot of professors required uh, here, so that's going to be a little bit challenging. Uh, uh, people who are educated here, they go back and they become professors, but we can do it like this as well. Uh, let's see, where are the people complaining about works? Here we go. Do we have college educated people here? Oh, we don't. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, at least they're school educated. If they're not in walking distance to university, that means that they're not gonna get university education. Uh, what about the rest of them here? Enjoy the culture. Uh, well, I wanted to transport a few people over here, but uh, I just remember that we don't even have living space for everybody. So, yeah, this is what I wanted to do. This is the natives, uh, Canadian uh, Northwest Yukon natives. Oh, there's a song playing in the background. Seriously. Wow. I did not expect that. <laughs> Is that really? <laughs> oh, cool! There's a song playing in the background when you click on this building, and it's uh, some Asian. So yeah, let's stick to that. Uh, right, uh, I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna expand the neighborhoods around here. I'm gonna see what people need first. Uh, jobs, jobs, jobs. Oh, come on, jobs these days. Go and enjoy life a little bit. You'll be sorry later on. I'm telling you. Um, oh, kindergarten is just done. 
That's perfect. Footpaths should be finished on their own. Um, I'm thinking that uh, we have... I think I want a footpath in between these two buildings. Something in the grid manner. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Like this, so people can go uh, one way or the other. Uh, what about the other side of the road? Uh, how far are they? I, I kind of always measure from the shop walking distance. Yeah, that's gonna be fine. I'm gonna build, uh, even though that we have fields here, those are easily movable. We don't need them at the moment. Uh, we need to move them at the moment. So I'm just gonna uh, do I go for the same ones. Uh, we have these big building, 120, 200 people. Wow. Yeah, this looks like a big sucker. Yeah, let's go with this one. Maybe even two, huh? Uh, they have all the amenities. There we go. Let's go with two soccer over here. Two of these huge, enormous buildings. That's gonna definitely boost our... Um, uh, apartment numbers. So something like this, like this, and like this, and this, and uh, this. Build it. If you build it, they will come, or he will come. There we go, and another F1. They want it this way. I want it that way. Tell me what. Something like that. Like something like that, like he doesn't know how it goes. Uh, sure, sure, sure. Like this, like this, like this. Okay, you know what? Let them just build it. Let them just build it. Uh, I'm gonna lower the amount of workers working here to zero. Uh, I'm gonna go and check out. Th that's gonna be huge, uh, huge increase in population uh, numbers. Like uh, these apartments that we're. Did we finish any of them? Not yet. Uh, oh, Equinox. No, why are you doing this? Oh man, no. I mean, yeah, fine, but like, there's no mechanization for these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flag this up because this is gonna take up forever. It, not really forever. It's gonna take a little bit longer to finish it. I mean, like, this is just a finishing touches for the building, but still, uh, mechanization is not here. Like, you should have scaffolding and and cranes and stuff uh, to to be able to be assigned to these buildings. They are absolutely beautiful. These buildings. I love the colors. I really love the colors. Anyway, 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 uh, anything else? Uh, how are we doing with the chemicals here? There's no people here working. How come? Seriously? Um, I have a feeling that we're gonna need more of these. That's fine. I'm pretty sure that we still have a chemical problem. Oh, we don't. Oh, we don't. I think I said that already. Uh, we don't have a chemical problem anymore. So that means we can start producing more chemicals. That means we can start cheating. But what do you mean by cheating? We can start exporting chemicals. Uh, only two buses are coming here. 200 people. And these buses have capacity of... 32? I thought it was like 55 or something. That's fine. I'll get more of these. I like these. I like these. I think they're Polish, right? Uh, let's get more vehicles. Um, uh, no, it's Soviet Union. Okay. My bad, my bad. We have you, we have all of them. Uh, I like yellow ones, let's go for two, two yellow ones, there we go. Then we're gonna have some buses here for the backup for the chemical plant. Well, finally, this is this should um, this should increase the uh, the amount of chemicals we're gonna be producing. Dumper trucks are delivering only two dumper trucks. I have a feeling with yeah, I have a bad feeling, not bad feeling, but this feeling here. Look at this dumper trucks. Let's increase our uh, only two hundred fifty thousand we have left. That's a little slightly worrying. Uh, I'm not sure if the chief financial officer and you, the rest of you guys, have opinion on that. But uh, let, let's diversify this. How, okay, let's go this one. I never saw this one. I don't know if I ever saw this one. I don't think I saw this one. Cross, cross, cross. Three crosses. Uh, uh, let's go for big cross. And let's go another big cross. Okay, so we're gonna get a couple of dumper trucks. What is this? Groundwork. We only have... Um, we have vehicles here that I don't use. So let's go with this one. Um... So this one is gonna be here, that's fine. 
I'm gonna get a couple of concrete mixers. Uh, so you get one of these. Let's go for open hull. I'm gonna go for the same for the Škoda. Uh, and then we're gonna go for at least two concrete mixers. Concrete mixers, concrete mixer. Uh, cross. Cross. There you go. Uh, just to, to increase. Oh, look at them not doing anything. Uh, go back to dumpers. Let's go continue building. Unfinished road. Uh, it's being built. That's fine. I'm just going to increase these. I'm pretty sure that uh, we can't do anything about this uranium mine. There we go. Now, that's a big one. Um, it, it requires a lot of a lot of uh, uh, work. I think it's going to be the upper building. I don't know if it's normal. Like a normal mine, you're going to have to dig deep. For this one but well, let's see let's see um i'm gonna assign two construction three and four because you're the closest ones off you go priority higher uh you deal with that uh wires 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 everywhere there we go. continuing on uh priority high that's it gas station whoa okay yeah, uh, let's lower the amount of workers on this gas station, and then let's assign it to, I don't know, construction one. I think I'm going to go and assign more than one project for construction office, just so um, some of you will be happy about that. I'm pretty sure you will. Uh, we have number two as well, not doing anything. This is apartment buildings, and again, I don't know if I'm going to assign... Uh, mechanization here is fine. Am I missing something? Maybe I'm just being stupid here. Because this looks like they require, they have, like, look, they have excavators assigned here. Do they have maybe cranes and this, just this facade ornamentation or something, shingles on the rooftops? Because I'm not complaining about the speed with which they were built. And the groundwork does have, okay, maybe just groundwork. So I don't know if the uh, second stage of construction does have any mechanization or not. Doesn't matter. Let's continue on. Uh, still number one and two are not doing anything. So let's go and find something. Uh, gas station. Did we assign anybody here? Yes, we did. Uh, increase priority. Uh, apartment buildings, they're being built. This is the road. And its road needs to be, uh, let's increase priority, transform, okay, um, I think a lot of uh, lower ones are now going to be a little bit stuck because there's no, um, there's, there's uh, materials are being delivered, so that's a problem. Transform medium, here we go, we have uh, some capacity here, let's go for bus 2, uh, move, 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 storm the front, unfinished conveyor belt, there we go, this is going to be bus industrial 3. Okay, that's good. Bus Industrial 4. Analysis, analysis. Small monument. Small monument, 34. Uh, that's easy. We're gonna just put 15 people to work, locals. And uh, we're gonna put a priority monument here. 180. And this one uh, doesn't, cannot get any uh, mechanism. And I'm pretty sure that the last concrete mixer is coming along. Let's give locals to work here as well. 20 people. That should be enough. Okay, let's continue on. Worth Elgin Flats. Uh, this one is going to be done relatively soon. Maybe we can wait and see if the second stage has mechanization space or not. Where is this one? This is all new uh, installation, new water pipes, sewage pipes, yada, yada, yada. All this, like, stuff. Um, right, so that's about it. We have farming uh, being finished here. It's May already. We missed the uh, planting season. That's fine. I mean, I don't think uh, we there, there was any chance of us finishing this because of the roads are being built for a long time. And then I didn't probably assign this to be constructed or co connect the road to this in timely manner so that's probably uh, as well what uh, but next year next year i promise uh 100 000. we lost 100 000, um 100 000 rubles we are uh down but bear in mind that we finished the nuclear reprocessing facility 
sorry, uranium conversion plant, which was 144 tons of steel. Uh, I did check the underground pipes and they gonna cost like 200,000, but uh, most of the materials are provided by us, but the most expensive ones, steel, no. So it's gonna be 80 tons of steel imported, 80, 90, let's say. Or we can even say 100 tons of steel for ease uh, of calculation. So steel is, this is gonna be 50,000. So like a quarter of the price is gonna be steel imports. We still have a lot of steel here. Uh, I'm looking at 60%. There's no vehicles here for import. So that means that they're busy. I will not increase the amount of uh, storage that is here. The, I'm pretty sure that they're all getting steel. Okay, um, I was supposed to, not really supposed to, like focus on the road, uh, sorry, railroad construction, but that's going to be uh, something for later. I'm thinking of moving these construction offices, probably as soon as we're done with the coal industries, I will move these construction offices maybe even way closer to the uh, nuclear area, even though mo they're mostly done. I mean, manual assignments to some of these uh, projects, it's probably going to be necessary, but... Um, um, I can do it, we can do it, the band, the, the band will make it. Um, some of these long pipes, I think they should be... Uh, eh, we can do it. Uh, dump, dump. Whoa! 3,500 tons of gravel, <laughs> 700 tons of concrete. We are not importing concrete, but we are importing uh, cement. Uh, that's fine. Uh, it's not fine, it's, it's expensive, but um, uh, we, we don't have other choices, so... Let's just start work on these. What's with this? Okay, it was transport. I'm, I'm like, since transport can come here and work on this, I'm kind of thinking that I'm going to leave them alone to see what automation can assign because they are really, 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 did I say really? Really busy. Um, I can do one more check over here uh, to see. Oh, here we go. Oh, it does have, it has three slots for... For mechanization, you can see here, uh, that would be this one here. So it has three three slots, so it, it's it's perfect, it's perfect. As Equinox Nova always makes makes our mods so absolutely perfect. I'm going to put one construction office uh, 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 to work on this building just to speed everything up. You can see here that we require a little bit of prefab panels, a little bit of steel uh, to finish it, but I'm really not sure why they're not working on this transport. They should, I'm busy, busy, but that's the only thing I can say. I'm pretty sure that they're really, really busy. We have these waves of construction. I don't think, actually, it's kind of a, I think at the end of the last episode, or episode before that, we had barely anything to do, uh, just because we were financially like kind of recovering. And then, boom, connect the roads, boom, build the neighborhood, boom, uh, build the underground infrastructure for, well, even part of your town. Uh, here, I think this. I think one of these buildings here that wasn't uh, won't be connected to sewage. Maybe this one, uh, but we are already on top of that. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that is going to be done. That that is going to be prepared in time. Yeah, that's it. Um, a lot of things happening in this episode. A lot of bad advice uh, that I'm mostly going to ignore. Uh, Anything else I would like to add? No, no, I, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. Oh, right, uh, the last things to cover. We are at 616 college-educated people, so we lost 30 college-educated people, by the way. That's that's incredible. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, suck on these. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it's just like, a, a, I'm like, it, it's not terrible. I'm, I'm really, really, really not. I'm 100% I'm sure that these people, college educated people, like we had 648, 49 when we started, and now we have 616 college educated people. It's way, way, way too low. Now, I'm going to talk just for a minute about the college education and something that Kai Maya brought up um, uh, we, regarding the college education. It's, it's really important. So, um, you can see here uh, your people in the middle of the screen. Uh, you have your people in auditorium. They're receiving their education and these are uh, waiting for free professors who's gonna help them, you know, in education and all. So uh, these people, when they get their dosage of education, that means like 0.1% or, or some, zero, sorry, 10% or 0.1 in basic education level, uh, they go uh, and do their own stuff and then come back in and they wait in a queue. So 
these people who are being educated here, like all of them are receiving education. This is just a huge queue of people waiting. Now, you have to balance this. You either have to provide enough professors to uh, educate all of these people, or you have to lower the demand. I'm going to just play around with the government loyalty level, just to see how many people we're going to lose uh, from uh, further education, just because... Um, uh, just because uh, um, they are slowing down. These people waiting for professors are just slowing down the people who are receiving education because the people who are receiving education, once they receive the education, they go in the back of the queue. So they become the ones who are waiting for professors. You can see here why, by increasing the loyalty uh, after a minute or, uh, or so, uh, a lot of students will drop off because they don't qualify because of the government loyalty. Um, this is um, this is one of the ways of mitigating how many people get the education. So here at this moment, you can see 57 people receiving education. I I, I wish that that auditorium was full constantly, but you can see here that there are a lot of a lot of them dropping off, which is sad. Uh, we need more of them to stay. I, I'm just gonna check how many how low this is gonna go because. Now it's already too low, lower than I would like. So balancing act, uh, um, it's going to be challenging. Uh, um, you need to. I, I think government loyalty is the best way to you can uh, push people away from education. Uh, the other way is if you build your universities at the edge of the cities or outside of the cities, and then uh, supply students by buses. Uh, that this is one of the ways that you can actually uh, um, balance how many people get education. Because, like I said, if you have too little, uh, that means that there's a wasted capacity. If you have too many, uh, that means that you're not educating your people fast enough because every single person here waiting um, in, a, in a queue, uh, waiting in a queue is um, gonna get education. They will get this education, but that means that they're gonna be holding back other other uh, students. So it's not ideal, it's definitely not ideal. I'm gonna just plant a couple of trees because this looks like a freaking desert here. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe baby. Uh, maybe a uh, fountain or something. Uh, should be a little bit higher. I know that there's going to be grass sticking through them, so I'm going to go for uh, just grass. Actually, colorful grass, also known as flowers. Um, again, this is uh, not ideally flat, not perfectly flat. But if I do it in this direction, it's going to be much better. There we go, and a little bit of trees here then. fine and here just a few trees and that's gonna be it anyway oh i hate this three division oh perfect uh, I, I didn't complain about three division in a while i hate these i hate these with all my heart and you can't remove them this is just like you know you need to dig your cables a little bit deeper it's more expensive and whoa the hell Seriously? No, 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 what the hell? Uh, like this. Wow, <laughs> that was a, that was a awkward one. I don't know what the hell happened here. Uh, but hey ho, this looks like a <laughs> this looks like a problem. Anyway, anyway, let's solve it in the next one. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, the notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, we have description of the video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye.